I'm going to read five new poems. Some were written just in the last couple weeks. First one starts out with an urban scene here in the hate, mid-June. I leave goodwill with a book for you. On hate and coal, a guy sings Cat Stevens, his old guitar plugged into a small amplifier. I linger to catch the chorus, then walk toward the library on page to see if poetic memory is waiting for me. It's after 3 p.m. and the wind is picking up. I can feel the fog creep its way over the park, as I could always sense snow coming when I was a girl. Vermont has nothing to say to this West Coast weather. Seasons so vague they end up being one continuous wave. A taste carried you back four decades this morning, eating whitefish for breakfast. Grandma Gussie offering you the same in Yiddish at her Brooklyn table when you were a kid. Two generations nearly gone. I mourned my mother most in winter. These next two poems go together, black and white. They came out of a recent meditation retreat that I did in Olima, out in Marin County. Black. In the lowering light, I watch a lone deer cross the dry grass. Tail, the same black as the crows, which keep calling from far off trees. Columns of black. Last night, no stars. Another bad dream. My pupil in the mirror, the bull in the field. The quail's single black head feather bobbing near the bush with the black striped bees. This poem, black cursive in a black journal. Beside me, blackberries picked along the path. White, morning overcast, white deer under a near white sky, damp white daisies here and here, a bush full of white star shapes I can't name. A path through the forest is marked by white paint on the rough bark of trees. At night, owl is white and the space in our eyes through which he flies. I've been looking a lot at the Italian artist Amadeo Modigliani. This is based on one of his portraits of his partner Jean, and it's called Last Picture. She is long suffering yet patient, the text says, painted by him with unmistakable warmth and understanding. She is plump with his child, her skirt a blue swell below a crossed wrap carmine, full white sleeves. He will die soon of tubercular meningitis, of alcohol, drugs. The day after his death, she will throw herself from a fifth floor window, leaving their first child orphaned. Her eyes are light blue ovals, no pupils. They see without seeing the blank sky to come, the narrowing space she will slip through. This last poem's a short one, it's kind of a myth poem. Dusk. The weave of your witch rule last poem is a myth poem. Right, it's, I'm sorry, start over and just like leave a little pause before we oh. start talking. Yeah. This last poem is a myth poem, very short. Dusk, the weave of your ritual basket, breast of moon, thread of dress. The immense trees lie down on the forest floor, acorns, vast tremblings, Owls close moan, even the sound of far off things is ours.